G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mum and Dad Show. My name's Isaac Butterfield and my lovely wife joins me here as she is dilating. No, I'm not This is going to be a short <laughs> podcast because we are on our way to the I hospital. Say something not like because that. we think we're in labour, but Claire's having some pains that uh, uh, are either she's got a big poo coming or no, it might be a little bubba. No, I've just got very yucky cramps and yeah. I've so we'll, we'll had them for two days and then the, the experts, and I don't mean on maths, <laughs> but the proper experts think that we should go in and just check the just little man's okay. okay. So we, we, we've said it, we're not just doing the podcast and then, you know, we've got to do that first and then we'll go in to make sure the baby's okay. We've set a, they've set a time for us to come in, so we have yeah. a little bit of time. I also put the podcast as a priority. Priority. So this will be the last podcast. Or second last, we're not sure. It's depending on how you're feeling. It dep- yeah, it depends on how these time. fucking cramps go. Well, the we moment could title it the last ever podcast. The last melon. The last melon. The last Uh, melon. Before we have our our little man, uh, Mm. he's due in about four weeks. So uh, he could come. Or today. Or today. He could come any time between now and four weeks. So uh, we're just going to go and make sure he's okay and everyone's all sweet and we will go and do that. Um, I don't want him looking at my vag. All right. Who? The hospital? The the people listening to the podcast? (laughs) Me? Anybody. All right, fair enough. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we do have some very exciting news. Little Dicky, uh, this is oh. other than everything else. You wanted oh. to talk about this. You've been wanting to talk about it all this day. Is, Take it away. This is the whole point of this podcast. <laughs> Guys, it's give happened. Us a, give us the backstory. So, as many of you know, and I'm sure many of you will go, oh, <sighs> at the name. Kizzy from... Do- Shut up, Gabe. <laughs> from Dog Rescue Newcastle. From Dog Rescue Newcastle has... Finally gotten her forever home. Boom! An amazing couple from Brisbane drove down to pick Kizzy up yesterday. Drove down from Brisbane. And shout out to shout them. Shout out to them. And, and they're fans of the podcast and that's how they heard about Kizzy because Dixon did not stop it trying to get Kizzy home. And she saved us. So bravo to you, little Thank Dickie. You. you are on fire, girl. I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that she got a home. Well done. It's really, it's, really exciting. Oh. I can't believe they came all the way from Brisbane. Oh. That's madness. They must. They're our people. If they, they listen to this and they've driven that far for a dog, they've got to be legends. They're like all of us. Absolute yes. legends. Well, I tell you what, I'm pumped because Kizzy was just. She's a beautiful little oh. dog. We actually saw one the other day outside of the vet. Uh, with young, with uh, we, take, we had Rose the vet. It's been a tough week for us with Rose. She's oh. been she's been very ill. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been a little princess. It's been tough, but um, she seems on the improve each day. Slowly, it's it's a roller coaster. She with her, didn't isn't eat it? for four days. Yeah. Um, she had a lot of stomach issues. Mm. She was on a lot of new medication for arthritis, and uh, she's got Cushing's disease. We've told talked to you about that. Yeah. But um. We've taken her off a lot of the medication, mm. which has sort of taken her from this zombie who can be. It was war. horrible. It was fucked. Yeah. Uh, to now, she's more alert, happy, like mm. you know that type of stuff, and she's doesn't c- seem to be in pain either. Currently we napping, a lot better. She's laying mm. down comfortably. Definitely. We took her to the physio, mm-hmm. a dog physio, and she was fucking great. Highly and recommend. We're doing these um mass if anyone's in the newcastle area and they want a dog physio mm. like uh, let us know and we'll give you her number mm. uh we're doing all these massage techniques and stuff and she the wasn't jellyfish. so rose wasn't able to sit down for a week mm-hmm. we had to lay her down every time mm-hmm. which was crazy it's but like a little nursing home here between rosie and i at the moment but one session of physio <sighs> and she could sit down again I so know. we were absolutely stoked it's about just, that oh. uh, and so the I'm other night she it. ate and then she vomited but yes. she ate, and then now she's been eating normal, similar, sort of normal sized meals. So she's starting to get a. Wait till you hear the regime, though. It's not just, I don't know what's co- the amount of different dog food we now are trying. Oh, with we little tried Rose. everything with her. She just didn't <gasps> like Baby anything. Baby food, barbecued shook, mince, cooked chicken, sweet potato, pumpkin. But apparently, one of the medications we had her on can really just devastate their appetite. And yeah. I think that's what happened. Because I think so too. She normally would eat food, loves it. Yes. And then she just went off it. And crazy, she'd so sniff it. Sniff Remember, it, she'd lick sniff it, it like she sort of wanted it. Get and then it. we'd go, nah. And then walk off. So she's doing a lot better, which is, Thank which is great. Because we were very concerned about her. It's been really rough. Um, she's nearly 11, and we're very concerned about her. Like, we just we don't want her going through pain, obviously. So. Uh, there was a lot of thoughts and conversations we were having that were pretty horrible, but she's doing okay now, and we're just gonna 
you know, every day that she's happy and doing a thing is, is beautiful. Mm. So uh, that's how sort of little Rose is going. But mm. I will tell you this. Uh-oh. She's a bit of a lunatic at the moment. She's going out once or twice a night as dogs This is about the do. tiles. No, she's peeing on me tiles. I don't know why the fuck she's doing that. And, and shit, pooing. And shitting on the tiles yeah. too. Lazy bastard. Anyway. Where is she? Oh, anyway, whatever. What does my... <laughs> she's an old lady. She's allowed to, right? Uh-oh. Littlefoot, the other one. Oh, don't bring him into it. Mongrel. <gasps> this kid, I will take Rosie out for a wee yep. and then she has some water and then she wanders around for a bit and gets sees in the She sights. does have some dementia too, guys. Our she's poor a, little dude. She's a little nana. <laughs> now, Littlefoot, rather than seeing that, oh, okay, dad's up with Rosie, they're going out for a wee or a poo. Dad's Let's running the house at running the moment. The house. Mum's doing fuck Mum's all. Mum's sleeping again. Yeah. Uh, let's, you know, if, if dad's doing that with Rose, you know what I'll do? I'll go and do my business now too so that, you know, he doesn't have to, he can come back to and go to bed because it's the middle of the fucking night. No, he doesn't do that. Littlefoot wouldn't do that. Littlefoot decides and has decided and has been doing this for a while that he will wait until my head hits the pillow and I pull the blanket back up and then he'll stand up, shake his little head and jump off the bed and go, I need to piss, dad. Come on, why can't we go and piss? <laughs> fucking what a dog. It takes him a while to rise. What a dog. Yeah. I know. I know. You know Don't what? rouse at Littlefoot. I'm little pissed foot. off at Littlefoot. I'm pissed off. It he knows an, I'm pissed it is off. An, I thought you were going to say because he keeps humping the air when we've been helping Rosie. That is a weird thing that he does. Yeah, this is another thing he's been doing. Love him to bits, our little cherub. But we, if we pick Rose up to sort of move her or help her or do something at the moment, he starts humping the fucking air. And I'm it's just different. Like, yeah, and I'm like, can you control it's yourself, different. please? I wouldn't recommend it. No. He's a weird little dude. Let every blossom bloom. <laughs> He's been saying that all week. A great quote from uh, what's old mate's fucking that name. crazy dude. My nose hurts now. Oh, Everything's Jesus falling Christ. apart. All right, well, let, what else do we need to talk about we before we go to the hospital? Fu- we did have some funny topics. Uh, we did. We uh, oh, we, On the topic of baby, uh, we found out this week, Gabe, let's ask you this question. <sighs> on a scale of one to a hundred... 100 being a, like a really big head mm. and one being like a really, really small head. Yep. How big do you think our baby's head is? Okay. You're looking at Claire's head. <laughs> I'm checking. I'm making it. you got a big head. Thank you. 85. 96. You fucking hell. The 96th percentile. Of 100 children born, there's only four with bigger heads than <laughs> our little boy. And he's not even fully grown yet. That's horrendous. That is a giant melon. And if any of you fucking rude pricks are in my DMs again saying, why are you having a C-section? Yeah. Don't fucking ask me. The Your wife's in my DMs. The, what, the bloody Butterfield head. It's, this is the thing. And I don't need a paternity test. As soon as I found out it's in the 96th percentile, I went, that's my noggin right there. That's Who the, were you worried it was? Louis. Gabe, Gabe, Gabe. And Louis. Gabe and Louis. A little foot. Little foot. Oh, don't nah, go, don't weird. open that door. That's weird. That's <laughs> weird. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, you said to me yesterday that uh, you're quite excited because In and Out Burger is coming to Australia. Well, you're not excited, but some people are. I I I'm excited, but I'm also now because I can say we've been to America, which mm-hmm. is such a cool thing to say. We're very cool I never people. thought we'd ever go. Yes. But we did go. We tried them. They're not that good. It's fun to do. It's really cool trying all the American stuff, and I want to do it again mm-hmm. ASAP, Rocky. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it was worth the hype. I'm no. afraid. No. And all these Aussies are on there, and I would have been one of them. So everyone lines up, and they're all going, "Oh my god, it's." And coming. they line up for hours for yes. these Australian versions when they come. I don't out know where it's going. I bet it's in Melbourne Probably. or Sydney. I'm sure there was one in Sydney. I think. Yeah. Something like that. I'm pretty sure. Mm. So the comments were going off when but we went, keen. and I ate it. We ate it near the airport. I'm pretty sure. Mm. I'm not and driving him to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> if you know any of these fucking references that Claire's going, let us know. They're either from um, Everybody Loves Raymond, the Seinfeld, or fucking what else? You don't want to be in here. No. <laughs> um, we had it, and I tell you what their famous burger tastes like. It tastes like a works burger. Yes, That's from, all a fish show like from a fish show here. Probably in not as good. If you don't know what a works burger is, it's a bit of meat, a bit of cheese, a bit of onion, a bit of beetroot, a bit of fucking... The beetroot what, was nice. Some pineapple, <gasps> an oh, egg. Hello, Claire. You know what we never said? What? In America, the fruit and veggies tasted heaps better. They did. The strawberries were Everything. scrumptious. What the fuck? Go on. I just let them know. No, no. I, I just finished. Please. That, that was it. Okay. I just remembered. 
the f- the food was so much nicer, but like the healthy food. Yeah, I, I feel like they've Biden are, are they, sprinkling. Are they his, sprinkling sugar on it or something? Fiber plus on top of it. <laughs> he's fucking Metamucil. Um, <sighs> so yeah, I'm uh, forgive us today for this podcast being a bit short, but uh, obviously our um, our minds are elsewhere with uh, uh, the little man. Um, I have pains. He has been moving normally and stuff, which he's is. Had a, a, I think little man's had a wonderful day. I just want to check that my cramps are all normal, mm. but I also have bad sciatica ATM. You know what someone asked us the other day? What? And and a lot of pregnant ladies say ask this question: What's your birth plan? Oh fuck off, Claire! What's your birth oh. plan? Huh? What is your birth plan? What is you planning to do with this birth? Have the baby and survive. Like that is what what We've are you supposed asked, to say? The amount of people that have asked me that and all these what are your goals for birth? And I'm like Push what? the fucking thing out. What do you mean? Goals for birth? I was like, get our baby out safe and have me not die. <laughs> It's such a weird because I know, it, but this, I guess here's the thing: a lot of ladies they want to do the water birth, they want to do the fucking hypno birth, they want to do. You had to have the big salad. There's a Seinfeld reference. I thought you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do all these different things. You want to have a what's the what's the lady the badoobala? What the fuck is a doula? A doula, that's the one. I'm thinking hooli doolies what every a, time Gabe, I what's hear a, it. What's a doula? What does a doula do? It's like a isn't it like a hippie midwife? Oh, so it's a midwife without. Um, I could any be education? Compl- they, no, I'm sure they have an education. Okay. I don't know what like a, type. Like an though. arts degree or something? Yeah, something useless like that. Yeah, right. A doula is a trained non-medical <laughs> companion who assists a woman companion. before, during and after oh, childbirth. So it's a friend. So it's a, it's a, it's a pregnancy If your husband's friend. an asshole, you get one of these chicks yeah, in. Yeah, get me a Support doula. Support and advocacy, meditating between the woman and her maternity care providers. Fuck mm. yeah. Med- mediating. Oh, medi- <laughs> mediating. Meditating. No, no, no. I said meditating. No, keep meditating. Keep meditating. I think that's funny. That's kind of what I like imagined when I was She's just in the room person. while you're asking about birth plans. Going, oh, <laughs> Some hippie chick. <laughs> you can do it. She brings down the chakras. Everyone's yeah. so different. I'm just not about that. I just, I just want to be... Comfortable and not traumatised. Comfortable, calm, cool and collected. And no, yeah, no trauma would be nice. Well, let's get you to the hospital. I think we covered everything, but the main thing of this podcast is that Kizzy, if we could put up a photo, please, Gabe. <laughs> I don't, uh, Gabe, Gabe will throw in a photo at some point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you will later? Okay. Oh, yeah. Of our little Kizzy girl as I burp into the microphone. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call it there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us for Mum and Dad Show. Can I just say this, though? We do have these beautiful mugs. They are on sale, Mum and Dad Show, if you like the channel. They're the best. Uh, if you like the podcast, go and get these to support us. The baby bibs have got like five left and the shirts have got about ten left. So I don't the know why the mugs aren't going as well as the bibs. Because the people out there, Cause they don't know how good these mugs are. They're really cool mugs, guys, I promise. Get them, they're metal. I hope right. you like them. Uh, wish us luck. See you later. Bye. Bye.